what kind of farming did your father do? Well, he, he tried to figure out what kind of uh, grain, you know, would be make the most money off of, and uh, uh, like mainly wheat because that's what they ground up and made uh, flour and bread and stuff out of it. But um, for pigs, well, there was barley and oats that they grew for the for the pigs and the cattle and the horses. And do you remember how big the farm was? Um, it had, had two quarter sections, uh, which is uh, um, 160 acres to the quarter, and uh, uh, and. When we moved from Bonacord, well, the government um, would automatically give you a, a, a quarter section for your for the husband and a quarter section for the wife. So we had half section. Hmm. Do you remember how any of those crops were planted that he grew? Uh, oh yeah, we uh, what the heck did they call it? Um, uh, well, in later years we had a tractor, but uh, uh, basically we plowed the land with the horses, and, uh, and then we harrow. We had arrows, and the horses pulled the arrows to, uh, to break it up, and, uh, and that, you know, so. And did he use a cedar, or did he broadcast the seed by hand? No, no, no. Well, well like for... for uh, uh, stuff he sold, uh, like wheat and barley and oats, that he sold. Well, no, oh, he had a. I can't, I'm just trying to think of what uh, what it was, but it was about uh, ten feet wide and, and um, it had uh, iron uh, spokes in it about every four inches apart, and the the seeds would drop through there on into there, and uh, it would, uh, you know. Uh, it cut the soil so that the seeds would drop in there and then it would be automatically covered too. And, that was, uh, and do you remember what harvest was like? Harvest? <laughs> it was really tough, you know, because uh, even when we were really small, uh, Dan and I, uh, it would take two of us to lift the sheaf up and uh, or all or you know, and we get one standing up and then go over and drag another one next to it. And when you put about uh, four to six sheaves in a stook and, uh, and so that uh, it would dry out and uh, before you could trash it and that. Mm. And uh, no one, uh, no one, Dan and I, we did, you know, do our own verse on the farm and then we'd go and I can't remember. We made about a dollar a day stooking, you know, other people's farms and that, but... And would they feed you? Oh, yeah, they'd give us a sandwich or something at lunchtime, but, uh, you know, we had to eat before we left and had supper when we got home. Hmm. And did your father do his own threshing? Yeah, yeah, he had a thrash machine and, and um, he, he did it. Um, uh, not only for ourselves, but for a lot of other people, and and uh, so uh, when we do in our place, all well, those other people would come and uh, have, you know help dad and bring a, bring in the sheaves. And hmm. Where would he sell the the grain? Well, um, it, it was at Boyle, Alberta, which was 20 miles away, and there was a railroad station there. And uh, in the summer, uh, summertime, we would take a sleigh and uh, with a, a box on it, and it would hold maybe 40 uh, bushels of grain, or oh, maybe more than that, because it was. And um, in the summer, uh, summertime, we had big wheels, steel wheels, and, and uh, all it down to boil that way. Which it would take about seven hours to get down there, and 
and we had to rest the horses and feed them for overnight and then the next day we'd come back. What kinds of chores would you do around the farm? What kind? Yeah. Virtually everything. I mean, you yeah. fed the chickens and the ducks and the geese and uh, and the horses and the cows and you know and the cows they had to have good food to so we get good milk out of them, lots of milk and and the horses had to be fed and they, um, we cut grass in, in the summertime and dried it and then we made uh, uh, stooks out of it and, uh, and uh, boiled it and, as, as we did with the uh, grain. What was the story with the moose? Somebody I think shot the mother or something and uh, dad and I found the baby in the bush and we brought it home and we, we raised it. And, uh, and then it was a big help around the, around the farm too, you know. It, but it just became the same as uh, all the cows or the horses, you know, which was just part of the farm. Huh. So would you use it to draw logs out or something? Oh, oh no, no, it uh, never anything like that. But but like you know, like um, uh, sheaves or something, or, or hay or something, we could bundle it and put it over its back and then we would lead it up, you know, where we wanted to go and unload the stuff and that.